I'm Matt Naylor, President and CEO here at the National World War I Museum and Memorial. Really, this uh, memorial and museum is such a striking image on the Kansas City skyline, and what a great story goes with that. It was in 1919, soon after the November 1918 armistice, that a group of business leaders gathered and said, let's do something to honor the war dead of Kansas City and create a tribute for peace. And so what you see behind me is the outcome of that, a fundraising campaign that lasted only two weeks that raised more than two and a half million dollars, the equivalent today of, of about $40 million. And then the people gathering here on this site in 1921 with the five allied commanders, about 100,000 people in a city of about 250,000. And then the remarkable memorial being constructed and opening with President Calvin Coolidge in 1926. And again, the people of the community gathering here, at that time about 150,000 people, said to be the largest uh, crowd that the president or a president of the United States had spoken to up until that time. Such was the, I think, the outpouring of, uh, of honor for those who had served in World War I uh, right across the nation and also a yearning for, uh, for peace and a different sort of future than the most recent past.